7.30 on a Saturday morning. It's gonna be a busy day. Cool, we got a lot going on today, right buddy? So, what is happening? We're going to the basketball tournament. Yeah, and who's playing in the basketball tournament? We are. We are who? You and... Mom, Dad. Well, no, Dad's coaching, but... Me but and my friends. You and your friends. And what group are you guys with? Dog. 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 Special what? Olympics. Special Olympics basketball team. Yes. Are you gonna win? Yes. Both tournaments? Awesome. It is so busy today. Robert is actually a coach and the school um, actually has four teams. Actually, that's a lie. They have two teams, four games. So they have two tournaments this morning um, with another a group of kids that are in the life skills class and then Corey's uh, class which is the MIPA class um, they have their two games this afternoon so Robert is going to be coaching from well from when I drop him off at the school to when Corey's last game is over which will be around five o'clock tonight on a Saturday so much to do today so the morning has been a little Difficult, right, buddy? Wait. Hey. Yes. Do you want to tell everybody what happened to you? <sighs> Not much. Not much happened to you, or do you want to tell everybody what happened? I, I started off with a good morning, but ended it. You ended your good morning. Why did you end your good morning? Because I don't want to tell about it. You don't want to tell about it? Do you mind if I tell them about it? Yes. You do mind? Yes. So you don't want me to talk about it? I... Mom and I started to fight. Mom and I started to fight? Yes. Yeah, and what did we fight about? Winning. Winning because you won what? A game. What kind of game? <sighs> okay, so... took Robert to the school. We all got out. We Well, we had to go pick up a, a player and then we took Robert to the school so that they could wait to get the bus. Um, while we were there, Corey was just playing his game. He was playing a video game on his cell phone. And, 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 and until I got upset. He got upset. And, and Mama started to fight. No, you got upset and you had a what? Major freak out. You had a major freak out. He had a meltdown, like a really bad meltdown. So we... I know, buddy. So then we came to the car. Rob had to get him to the car. And then we started driving. And then he still wouldn't calm down. So we got into an argument about his behavior. And about how he needs to improve his what? Strength? No, you need to improve your behavior. Your behavior. And you need to understand that when something doesn't go your way, the first thing you need to do is not what? Freak out. Exactly. So we had a discussion about that. We're currently sitting in the parking lot at the bank waiting for them to open. <laughs> because I got to run errands. I need to pay rent. Um, and then I need to go home, take a shower, get ready, and then I have to go back to the school, pick up, how many, how many players am I picking up at school? Three. Three. I have to pick up three of the girls from the varsity basketball team who are on the Special Olympics Unified team. Because, um, in order to do Special Olympics Unified, you have to have special, special athletes, but you are required to have general education kids on the team. So, um, the entire, actually, fun fact, the entire varsity basketball team at our school, um, varsity girls yeah. basketball team at our school is on the Special Olympics basketball team. Yeah. So, so I have to go pick up three of them because they had practice this morning. So they can get a ride and we have to drive all the way out to Leesburg. 
So that is what we are currently doing. And Corey is still, this is how Corey is trying to calm down. I know it looks, it looks different, but quite honestly, this is probably one of the best things that he can do. Because the rocking back and forth does what for you? Help me stay calm and collective. It helps him stay calm, cool, and collective. But I put the parking brake on, so we're safe. Okay. We are currently at the school again. I like washed my hair and blew it up. But we're currently at the school again because we are actually here to pick up some more players. They have their own basketball practice going on right now, so we're just waiting. Corey's doing what? Being pleasant. Being pleasant, but what are you what are you actually doing? I'm doing lunch. Eating lunch. We were walking at the door and he's like, when's lunch? And I realized it should be now because it's noon. So we had to stop and grab some cash and then I stopped and got him some lunch. I ate at 10 o'clock so I'm not even hungry right now. So we're just gonna sit here, let him finish up and then we're gonna wait for the girls and we're gonna head off to the school. That reminds me, I actually have to find the school. Okay, cool. All right, talk to you guys later. You guys, we came to the school to play basketball at Corey's for uh, Special Olympics, but I came in to use the restroom and look at the stall doors of this place. This is awesome. Confidence is key. Know your value. Be the sun. Hi. I love these doors. I know, they're so, they're creative. so creative and so encouraging. I, I love that. We're missing Prince and Paul, baby. Hey! Come on, Wakefield. Pick it up. At least I won't get any for this year. Donna? That is Donna. <laughs> Come on, Donna! No. Oh. Good effort, guys. Good effort. Let's go. Good save, Nayeli. Come on. Let's go, Donna. Got it, buddy. Oh.
Good job. That was a good shot. Good shot. Whoa, go Donna. Try and get oh, that was a good shot, Donna. Good shot.
Hi. Hi, everybody. Hang on, I've dropped something. And I'm back. Sorry, I had dropped my case. I was just trying to pick it up. Yeah. Okay, so, um, you're probably wondering why I ended so abruptly with the video from last night, and here's why. When we got out, it was an hour drive back to our home school from the high school we were at. And like, as soon as I hit a major highway, I got a nasty headache. And then after that, I was like, well, maybe I just need to eat something. So the boys and I just ran to the Chick-fil-A, ate dinner real quick, and then Robert really wanted a Frosty. So then we drove to Wendy's, we all got Frosties, and then when we got home, I was just like, I was down for the count. It was just like, I put Corey in the shower, I got into my pajamas, I took three Advil, just crawled under the covers, and just kind of passed out. And it wasn't, I will say this, it wasn't really a migraine, it was just a bad headache, coupled with, I just, I didn't feel good. So I think it was just, like, I was, it was like exhaustion coupled with not eating right, and then not really, you know, taking care of myself. But, all of that is going to change tomorrow. This is the last day of nasty eating for for the 12 days of Christmas because the 12 days of Christmas run from the 25th through the 25th of December through the 5th of January which I did not know that is that is new information to me so right now um, I was gonna try to do this yesterday but I just ran out of time with Corey's meltdowns and just having to chauffeur children everywhere which was fine I don't have a problem with that I really the uh, the girls that came to the basketball game to help our to help our to help our kids to help the um, the MIPA kids do their do the basketball. Oh, it was so good! You guys, it was so good. Had such a good time. Everyone played really well. Um, had some surprises from a couple of kids. They were just they were just they were just awesome. Sorry about the jiggly. I don't have a steady mount in my car. I actually should have asked for one for Christmas. I should have since I do quite a bit of filming in here. But anyway, I'm on my way to the store to get cinnamon rolls because we are making cinnamon roll waffles for breakfast today. Twelfth day of Christmas, we're gonna just cap it off and then I hope the weather holds out because I would love to go for a walk today. I have not had any type of exercise since Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, and it was just, I was just, you know, trying just to get in back into the groove with work. So, tomorrow I will start my regular workout regime again. Um, I'll do the gym and just do 10 minutes walk, a 10 minute walk workout, and then I'll lift weights. But I decided I'm going to do upper body or lower body. I think I really need to maybe concentrate. store we got all the things we need to make our waffles and right now I'm heating up the waffle iron so we're heating heating her up so it's super simple just get we like the grands because they actually make a bigger waffle but you get the grands I got two just because only five come in the can we're just gonna slap them on our waffle iron and it's gonna make a nice luxurious waffle. So that's really, it's like, is it, you make the, you have to get the um, waffle iron like super, super hot. Um, spray it with your sh cooking spray and then put this like right in the center. I'll show you when we get to that point, but it's really awesome. Okay guys, we are ready to go. We are gonna take our cooking spray. And we are gonna spray the bottom and the top. 
lubricate it. And then we're going to take our cinnamon roll. And then we are going to put it face down. And then we are going to smush. You can hear it sizzle. That's a good sign. Then we're going to wait two minutes and then we are going to pop it back open. Okay, you guys, our timer just went off, so let's see how this turned out. Whoops. It's supposed to actually be on the bottom, but that's okay. She looks good. Okay. So I have about nine more of these to make, so let me get started on that, and I'll be back. So I wanted to show you what to do with the icing that you get from the, the cans. You want to take both icings. Sorry about the dishes in my sink. I'm definitely going to do those today. So you take both icings from the cans and you put them in a bowl. And then in this bowl is just a mixture of powdered sugar and some milk. And you just kind of make your own little slurry from that. And what we're going to do with this is we're just going to add it to the frosting. We're just going to kind of thin it out so that um, it's more of a syrupy consistency. So we're just going to just put a little bit in there and then we're going to stir it up. And this is hard to do while I'm filling. Hang on, I'm going to pause this and show you the end result. Okay, so here we go. It's a little bit more of a runny consistency, which is what you're going to want for the waffles. Yeah, buddy. That looks really good. Okay, still baking. We're still making them. Mmm, finished product. Looking good. Everyone likes it. Yay, breakfast success.